everyone. How are you? Welcome to a new video at Beyond the Cloud. Today, we are going to discuss about AWS S3 pre-signed URL. So, AWS S3 pre-signed URLs are temporary URLs that provide secure access uh, to specific objects in your S3 bucket. They eliminate the need for users to have their own AWS credentials, making them ideal for granting uh, controlled access to your S3 resources. Uh, so let's give an example. Imagine you want to allow users to download a file from your S3 bucket. So instead of giving them access to your entire bucket, you can create a pre-signed URL that grants temporary permission to download only that specific file. This enhances security and keeps your other S3 objects protected. So if you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, I will try to make some recommended videos from you guys if you have any. So sit tight and enjoy. So as you know, we will understand what is S3 pre-signed URL in this tutorial and we will also discuss like how, uh, why S3 pre-signed URL um, actually very important to us and how it works. And we will give a short demo um, creating an S3 pre-signed URL and then we will send it to user and we can download the file. So basically to understand what is S3 pre-signed URL, I hope you know that what is an AWS S3. Uh, so Amazon Simple Storage Service or, or Amazon S3 is a highly scalable, reliable and low latency object storage service provided by AWS. So it allows user to store and retrieve any amount of data uh, anywhere on the web. One of the powerful feature that S3 have is to ability to generate a pre-signed URL, uh, which are URLs with the embedded authentication signature uh, that grants temporary access to the specific object that is stored in S3. Now, the question is why it is important. So, um, uh, have you heard about it? Like if uh, the mechanism of uh, if if you if we don't want to give any access or if we don't want to share our S3 bucket publicly with anyone, and still we want to share an object uh, with an user or a couple of user, uh, we can do that with a pre-signed URL because pre-signed URL are very secure. It is uh, pre-authenticated and it has a time bound. So after a couple of certain time, um, the pre-signed URL um, actually will not work or it expires. The URL expires. So anyone wants to grab the object after the predefined time uh, it will not work out so in that way it is very much secured and i don't have to uh, expose my bucket or object publicly think think of an example like imagine if you have a secure vault uh, and filled with valuable objects and you want to grant temporary access to someone to retrieve a specific item uh, without giving them uh, the keys for the entire vault uh, this is where the pre-signed URL comes in. So you will generate a pre-signed URL, give the user the pre-signed URL so that the user only able to retrieve that particular object instead of having access to the entire vault because that might be a security vulnerability. Now, the question is what might be the common use cases for a pre-signed URL? So the common use cases uh, uh, includes like pre-signed URL are commonly used for scenarios like temporary access or download or uploading an object without having publicly and also it has a uh, expiration time which you can set uh, by your own the maximum time is uh, one hour and then after generating the url um, you can share the url with user they can download the file and it expires after maybe 15 minutes or five minutes or whatever you set to that but after that it will not work out because the url is not valid uh, it also commonly practiced to share the, uh, as I said, file sharing, direct uploads. Also, sometimes it is used as media streaming, uh, facilitated secure streaming of uh, multimedia content uh, stored in S3 by generating pre-signed URL with limited access periods for authenticated, authenticated users. So if, if you have an app, um, which you have two version, one is free version, one is paid version, and uh, the free version user can see only a certain amount of mm, time of that video suppose for 30 seconds or maybe you know, 20 seconds you can generate a pre-signed url share the pre-signed url with the user and user 
the url is only valid for 30 seconds so after 30 seconds now your content is blocked so that is another use case now uh, you might be understanding that why pre-signed url is important uh, so the in, from importance perspective the pre-signed url is really important uh, because uh, it has the security uh, from security perspective um, uh, so the pre-signed url is already pre-authenticated and it only user will only able to retrieve objects uh, that uh, that are assigned to that pre-signed url so without exposing it publicly also it gives the granular access control by controlling the expiration time of the uh, pre-signed url uh, you can enforce time bound access to the s3 object thereby minimizing the risk of unauthorized access after a specified period uh, this also uh, it has temporary access for clients uh, pre-signed urls offer a secure way uh, to grant temporary access to your private s3 objects without compromising the security of the bucket or requiring using log time credentials the one that i, I was mentioning uh, uh, it has particularly useful if you don't want to expose your bucket publicly. Uh, the fourth one is a resource sharing without public access. This is saying that if we don't want to uh, expose our pub, uh, bucket publicly and we still want to share something, we can do it with a pre signed URL. Uh, I will show you in the demo that our bucket and object are still private. I am not exposing this to publicly, but still we can access to, uh, we'll be able to access the files. Uh, this is this also generates like a uh, temporary links to the private content so it, the link is temporary as i said uh, it is not uh, available for the whole time you can generate a particular time for that url maybe five minutes maybe you know, 10 minutes or whatever it is or maybe seconds as well and after that after user um, after that time uh, the url expires so this is why the pre-signed url is very much important so the main importance is that you, know, you are exposing some object or you are sharing some object without exposing the object publicly. Uh, this is this is very nice feature. I mean, uh, in each and every cloud, like in Google Cloud, in uh, Azure, also they have something like uh, pre-signed uh, URL concept as well. Now, how how this demo will work and what I will show you here. So we will generate one lambda or we will create one lambda which will generate a pre-signed url and which will publish the pre-signed url to an sns topic and from that sns topic we will subscribe to that sns topic and user will get the link via mail we will subscribe to the sns topic via email uh, and then user can take user can get the link uh, from there uh, in their email and then um, uh, then uh, user can download the file or view the file or what, do whatever uh, they want. So we will create the lambda. We will use Python as a programming language here to create the lambda, and we will generate the pre-signed URL also with code, and then we will publish it in a in the SNS topic, and then the you know, URL I will show you in uh, in a predefined mail uh, that will go. So this is this is the demo that I will show you. I hope you will enjoy the demo. Uh, so sit tight and let's see how the demo works uh, so as you can see i have logged into my aws account and this account i will be using for uh, to uh, have this uh, demo session uh, prepared and then uh, i am using this not virginia region you can choose whatever region you want uh, mm, uh, for the demo session what we will uh, do uh, first of all we will have a we will, we have to create one s3 bucket and on that s3 bucket we will keep one object and for that object uh, we will be generating the pre-signed url uh, with one lambda function and then we will publish the pre-signed url to a sns topic to a user so we will register a gmail address or email address to that particular user which the sns topic will subscribe to and then it will send the notification to user so i hope uh, before uh, starting the demo you know how uh, s3 bucket or uh, how sns topic works because this is not the one that i will be teaching here how a sns topic works uh, works if you uh, want to know how an sns topic works you refer to my earlier videos uh, you will be uh, you you will get to know like how an sns topic works so let's start the demo so first of all let's create an s3 bucket now if i go to s3 management console and create a bucket then i have to give a name for my bucket so maybe test bucket then some random number and then i hope 
it will be available so you can see here the public block all public access is enabled that means my public access is blocked then i will just create the bucket so my bucket is created test bucket 989776 and i will add some object here so i go inside this bucket and click on this upload button and then i want to add some files here so after clicking on this add file i have added this happy underscore birthday.png this is just an image file and i will now upload this file and close this so you can choose whatever file you want you have in your computer uh, then i have uploaded this file so for this object we will generate the pre-signed url if i go back to buckets now you see that this bucket is actually bucket and objects are not public so that means my bucket and object this bucket as well as this object is private we cannot access it direct, directly so if you um, should test that if you select this uh, object and just copy the url and then paste the url and hit enter you see you will get an access denied option that means with this https response you will not be able https request you will not be able to get that object uh, so to do that how to get that object so we have to generate a pre-signed url for that so our bucket and so first of all our bucket and object is ready now we will create one sns topic so to create an sns topic let's go to the sns console we will create a topic maybe a test topic uh, and we will create a standard uh, sns topic we will leave it everything as it is and we will create the topic while creating the topic then we have this subscription under subscription we will create one subscription so subscription is something that uh, whenever a message arrives to an sns topic who are all will be notified or will be getting the message so this is a subscription uh, concept so i will give an email subscription and i will add my email id here so while adding this email id it will send a confirmation mail to this email id which we need to confirm so now you see that if we go back to uh, topic and we see here the under subscription this is pending confirmation uh, and the endpoint is this gmail id now if we go to this gmail we see that one notification came in from aws uh, for confirming this uh, message or the confirming this subscription so we will click this confirm subscription and it will show me that the subscription is confirmed successfully and if we go back here and if we just refresh this page subscription and we come came back that there is a subscription id generated and the status is confirmed that means whenever we will publish any message to this subscription it will get the message you can test it you can publish any message like the subject line is high time to leave we don't give and the message body is kind of test and if you publish this message while publishing this message uh, this end the it will check if it has a subscription the subscription is now my gmail id and my gmail will get a notification or a new message so you see here this is the subject line and this is the body so this is how sns works anyway uh, now what we will do we will create the lambda function which will generate the pre-signed url and send it to this sns topic so to create the lambda function we will go to the lambda console and as i said we will use this python uh, for this lambda uh, generation or lambda creation so i will give the name as generate pre-signed url this is my uh, uh, this is my function name and i will use python 12 for this and then i will change the execution rule basically this lambda needs two permission one is to read the object from the bucket you see here one is read the object of the uh, bucket and one is to publish publish it in sns topic so i will give the fine grain control to the lambda function so that it is not exposed to all the roles that is supposed to not have so i will create a new role policy template and i will give the row, uh, name as lambda i am typing wrong actually lambda role and then policy template i will select that sns and you see here amazon sns publish topic this is and i will select s3 uh, object read only permission so this two permission is sufficient to have my lambda running up and running 
and also basic lambda execution role always have this cloudwatch logging enabled so cloudwatch logging we don't have to bother now i will create the function it will just take some time in couple of seconds the function will be ready then we will write some code into it now my you see here my function is generated my function is ready and it gave me one um, lambda handler and the return code is 200 this is fine if i just test it now uh, we will be able to see that my lambda is up and running now test it and it will return 200 so my uh, lambda is up and running now we need some code uh, to generate the pre-signed url so i will write down the code and then i will explain it what is happening there so uh, now we see that our um, uh, lambda is uh, generated or our lambda code is uh, finished uh, what i can do here is i will run through the code once um, uh, with you uh, to give you an understanding what is happening so uh, first of all we are importing json and boto3 boto3 client we need because we need to uh, create two client one is s3 and one is sns so for lambda handler we are having this bucket name in which bucket our object is situated and also our object um, uh, for which our s3 pre-signed url will be generated then we have one method generate pre-signed url where we are passing the bucket name and object name and the generate pre-signed url is where the magic is happening and here we are taking the bucket name and object uh, key and we are setting one expiration time this is in seconds it is uh, 3600 seconds and we are creating one s3 client so this part is very important how a pre-signed url is generated to create an S3 client, we have to create Boto3 client and then we have to give S3 and the config. The configuration is that the, we have to create one session where the signature version is S3 version 4 and the region name is EU Central 1. So this region is very important. So where your bucket is situated, you have to give that particular region. So if your bucket is in EU Central 1, you have to give EU Central 1. You cannot give EU US East 1. Otherwise, the pre-signed URL that will be generated uh, is a wrong one. You will not be able to access the um, access the object with that uh, pre-signed URL. So this region name is very important, and the signature version is also very important. So what initially I did uh, previously that I did not give the signature version and try to generate the pre-signed URL with this config, uh, it it gave me it 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 did not generate properly the pre-signed URL. So after creating the S3 client, we have this. Um, we have this method called generate pre-signed URL where we are giving the get object uh, uh, this these parameters are needed so the parameter is get object it is getting the object and the parameters it is passing is um, uh, bucket that the bucket name and the object key that uh, that is generated here that uh, that is passed here and the expires in this is also a variable uh, I think I did one mistake here this is expires in this is the one and the expires in is the one where for how many seconds the pre-signed url is valid the expiration time we have set to uh, 3600 a uh, second and then after generating the pre-signed url it is just returning the pre-signed url that's it uh, so it returns the pre-signed url to the calling method that is here and we are checking here if the pre-signed url is generated if the pre-signed url is generated then we are printing that the pre-signed url is this and we will send this pre-signed url to our sns topic so this send pre-signed url is another method that we have declared here it is passing the pre-signed url and it is creating one sns topic uh, sns topic client and with that client uh, it is publishing to that particular client so uh, this client this publish method is actually will publish uh, that message so whatever message we will generate to that uh, uh, topic and then whoever is a subscriber they will uh, they will have the uh, message so uh, in this publish there is this target ERN that we have to give our test topic target ERN and then the message um, that that it will have our message we are giving at pre-signed URL message and then the subject line uh, so the mail it will get one mail and the mail have a subject line called assert subject so, so this subject we can change maybe uh, is in the URL and this is the subject and it will get uh, in the body uh, as the URL and the message structure is JSON uh, that's it basically so this is uh, this is what this lambda does uh, we can test the lambda now 
so we have to deploy the function so we will deploy the function so as per we can test it now so as per this architecture the user will uh, call this lambda function this one you can do it with api gateway or cloud front or whatever you want but i will generate this or i will uh, call this lambda function manually with this test feature and it the lambda will go to the s3 bucket generate the pre-signed url and send it to our uh, mail id through sns topic so to test it uh, uh, i will just click on this test uh, button and the lambda is executing now and after three seconds it says that uh, okay the task is timeout this is fine but i can see that the pre-signed reward is generated let's see if we get any uh, mail or not uh, we did not get any mail so let me do one thing let me go to configuration and let me edit this lambda function and just increase the timeout to one minute and that's it i think one minute is enough to uh, to have this lambda function to run this is fine now again we will test the lambda function now my lambda is running for three okay now my lambda is completed we see that uh, status code 200 has been returned and pre-signed url is also generated if i go to this mail and i see that one mail has came and this is the subject line if you remember we have given the subject line as pre-signed url and this is the pre-signed url that is generated now if you click on this pre-signed url we see that oh we see that this is this is the one actually um, yeah, this is the one that i wanted to show you that the region that we have set up is eu central one so if you see the pre-signed url region is eu central one but the bucket that we have created it is in us east one so if we go to bucket and we see that it is in us east one so the pre-signed url is generated but uh, uh the url is wrong because the region name was wrong so what we have to do we have to change this region name to correct region where our bucket is situated so we changed it to us east one now we will deploy now so this pre-signed url is kind of wrong the one that i wanted to show you and then we will test it again and upon test we see that it is running again for three seconds it has generated the pre-signed url it gave me one mail and at this time i hope this is fine if i click on this i see that our object is generated and this is the object that is having here in this s3 bucket and in this s3 bucket we have this object which we will which we are not able to grab directly with this url if we again try it is access denied but instead we have generated one pre-signed url which is valid for 3600 seconds after that it will be invalidated and it sent the pre-signed url to user whoever wants the bucket uh, object we can send it and they can grab the object uh, by this link and this is what they get so this is what i wanted to show you that how a pre-signed url works and uh, how to generate a pre-signed url we basically request this lambda in um, in front of an api gateway as well this is what we can do so uh, i hope you really like this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned um, a new thing uh, today uh, let me know in the comment section uh, how you like what you like in this video or what you didn't like i will be sharing the code in uh, in my github repository uh, you will be able to grab the code um, from my github repository check the description box for the link uh, <clears throat> and then um, i will be back with another exciting video so uh, till then take care and goodbye